The man on your screen is my very good friend, Todd Bates, who died on December the 10th, 2003, in Baghdad, Iraq, while trying to save another soldier from drowning. Every year I set aside December the 10th as a day to honor and remember his life, our friendship, and his sacrifice. This year marks the 20th anniversary of his death, and I plan on honoring him by going on a 50-mile ruck march. I would like to use this opportunity to raise some money for his hometown football team, the Bel Air Big Reds. If you lend me your ears for a moment, I'd like to explain how and why I came to this decision. Todd was a very special young man who grew up in the southern Ohio town of Bel Air. Like too many kids of our world today, Todd's parents weren't setting him up for success. He was actually raised by his grandmother. Todd had dreams of leaving his small town and the troubles of his childhood behind, and he believed that joining the army was his ticket out. The only problem was that Todd had to lose over 100 pounds just to meet the minimum height and weight standard to join the army. For Todd, losing 100 pounds wasn't about looking good in the mirror or trying to impress the cutest girl at school. For Todd, losing 100 pounds meant his future. It meant breaking the cycle of abuse and poverty. It was about giving him the opportunity to be someone, and the someone he wanted to be was a United States Army soldier with the opportunity to serve his country in a post-9-11 world. The way Todd chose to lose this weight was by strapping on a backpack filled with weight and walking the country roads around Bel Air, mile upon mile. A few years after Todd's death, I had the privilege of visiting Todd's hometown Bel Air, meeting his grandmother, the woman who raised him, and he called Mob, as well as a newspaper man who was writing a story about the visit for the local paper. He told me of the legend that was Todd Bates, the boy who seemed to walk up and down every hill around town all day and all night, carrying that pack on his back loaded with as much weight as he could possibly carry. As it turned out, Todd could carry quite a bit and left a lasting impression on everyone who met him. This year, is the 20th anniversary of Todd's sacrifice, and I think it's appropriate to honor the way Todd lived and to do so by picking a physical challenge Todd would approve of, a 50-mile ruck march. The 50-mile ruck march has some historical significance as President Teddy Roosevelt in 1908 enacted the defining duties of the United States Marine Corps requiring all junior officers to complete a 50-mile ruck march as part of their annual physical fitness standards. Then again, in 1961, President John F. Kennedy tried to reinstate this standard by stating, Our growing softness, our increased lack of physical fitness, is a menace to our security. It will take me somewhere between 18 and 20 hours to complete this task. I will start in the evening of December 10th and walk through the night. The path will start south of Columbus and will culminate at the Ohio Fallen Soldiers Memorial in Sunbury, Ohio. December in Ohio is cold, wet, and miserable, just like it was that night in Baghdad. Just like it was for the next two weeks, as we walked up and down the banks of the Tigris River, hoping that by some miracle of God, we would find Todd alive. I've invited a small group of friends who were there that night to join me, with hopes that they can each walk at least a few miles. I've also invited one of Todd's childhood friends, Mike, who happens to be a Marine, to join me. He's promised to walk as far as he's physically able. I started a GoFundMe account for this event called Todd Bates Memorial 50 Mile Ruck. 
I would like to use some of the money raised to provide hotel rooms and meals for the men who travel from out of town. The rest of the money raised will be donated to the Bel Air Big Red football team in Todd's honor. Depending on how well the event goes this year, I might make it an annual thing and open it up to the public as a way for the community to honor our nation's fallen. A link to the GoFundMe account will be found in the description of this video, and I'll also pin a comment. Thank you in advance for your donations and your support. May God bless you all.